morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you may listen or watch this All Things Healing podcast and video. I want to talk to you about spiritual attacks of the mind because I see this happening very often. I see I see this happening right now as as I'm as I'm sharing this video, so I wanted to talk about it cuz I don't think people may not be aware of what this looks like, what are the signs, what are some things you can do. Okay, so I'm going to give you eight signs of um spiritual attacks on the mind. What it what this looks like, right? So number 1, unexplained negative thoughts. Sudden and persistent negative thoughts or emotions that seem to come out of nowhere may indicate spiritual influence. And then we have number two, feelings of fear or anxiety, intense feelings of fear, anxiety, or unease that they are disappropriate um, to the situation may suggest spiritual attack. Then we have three, deserve, d- excuse me. Disturbed sleep patterns, persistent nightmares, sleep disturbances, or re- reoccurring dreams with negative themes can be a sign of spiritual interference. Number four, feeling drained or exhausted, experiencing sudden fatigue, um, lack of energy, despite adequate rest and nutrition, may, be, may identicate spiritual attacks, draining your energy. Number five, Difficulty concentrating or focusing, inability to concentrate, racing thoughts, a difficulty focusing on tasks may suggest spiritual distractions. Then we have number six, physical symptoms, unexplained physical symptoms such as headaches, body aches, digestive issues, and no apparent medical cause could be um, manifestation of spiritual attacks. Number six, relationship strain. Increased conflicts or tension in relationships, especially with loved ones or within spiritual communities, may in- may indicate spiritual interference. And then we have loss of spiritual connection, feeling disconnected from your spiritual beliefs, practices, or 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 higher power, despite previous feelings of connection and faith, could be a sign of spiritual attack. It is essential to consider these signs um, within the context of your beliefs, experiences, and overall mental and physical health. If you, succe- if you suspect a spiritual attack, seeking support from trusted spiritual advisors, counselors, um, mental health professionals can help you address the situation effectively. Okay, so now, now I want to share with you some things you can do when handling these spiritual attacks of the mind because it is happening. You may be under attack right now, right? I have been in conversations with people who are, it's just self-defeating talk. They are just defeated. And God did not create us to be against ourselves. That's why I know it's a spiritual attack of the mind. So we have prayer and meditation. Engaging in prayer and meditation or other spiritual practices can provide a sense of peace and connection with the higher power, which may be may help combat the negative um, spiritual influences. And then you have number two, positive affirmations. Repeating positive affirmations or scriptures can help counter negative thoughts and strengthen mental resilience. And then we have number three, seeking support. Talking to a trusted um, person um, of faith, counselor, supportive community can, can provide guidance, reassurance, and a sense of belonging during these challenging times. And then number four, setting boundaries, establishing boundaries with negative influences or situations that exaggerate spiritual attacks can help protect your mental well-being. And then we have self-care, prioritizing self-care activities such as exercise, adequate sleep, healthy nutrition and engaging in in hobbies can support overall mental and spiritual health. And then we have number six, educating yourself. Learning about spiritual warfare, discernment, and techniques for spiritual protection can empower you to recognize and respond to attacks effectively. And then number seven, last but not least, seeking professional help. If spiritual attacks significantly impact your mental health and well-being, consider seeking support from a mental health professional who respects your spiritual beliefs and can provide appropriate guidance and treatment. 
So if you feel like you don't know what to do, if you feel like it's overwhelming and you cannot handle it, please seek professional help. Please do not sit there and struggle and suffer and ultimately want to unalive yourself. So make sure that you are getting the help that you need because these these spiritual attack of the spiritual attacks of the mind is real. It is happening. Just look around. Listen to the conversations. Listen to what people are saying. Watch what they are doing. It is a spiritual attack on the mind. I'm telling you, you got to pay attention to this stuff because it's happening. And I wanted to talk about it because I see this. I see it in conversations. I see it in in things that I'm that I'm that I am that I am around. I see it in people. It this is happening. This is happening and I wanted to bring I wanted to bring awareness to it because it's real. You are not supposed to be against yourself. <laughs> like people just I'm not saying they're against themselves. I have never ever witnessed what I'm witnessing now. I'm talking about beating itself down. Talking bad about their stuff, just beating themselves down. And I get it. Spiritual attack of the mind. That ain't even you talking. I don't know who that is, but that ain't you talking. Because God did not create you to be against yourself. I know that's not you. That's that is that is a spiritual attack on your mind. Life is life in and there's these conversations that's going on in your head, and they are winning the war of your mind. It's essential to find strategies that resonate with your beliefs and values while also addressing your mental health needs. So get the help that you need. If you ain't heard nothing else, I say it. Get the help that you need because you are your own rescue. Sometimes people don't even know what's going on with you. They just know that something you just you ain't. Yeah, you ain't yourself. You ain't acting right. You ain't talking right. Like what's going on? You got to help yourself. You have, you are your own rescue. You've got to help yourself. You know what you need. You know when you're feeling off. You know that ba- you based off the information that I shared, if this is you, get the help that you need. Stop trying to struggle and suffer through this. That's all. That is all. I am, listen, how I stay sane in the membrane in my word, listening to the word, hearing the word, reading the word, uh, and, and just really just giving all my problems to God. I pray and I give it to him. I don't sit up here and worry about it. I don't sit up here and struggle with it. It's out of my hands. If it's out of my hands, then it should be out of my mind too. So that's my method. It may not be your method. That's my method. That's what I do. That's how I keep my peace. Okay. Um, because it, this stuff is real and this stuff is happening as, as I speak right now, it's happening and it may be happening to you and just know that there is some help out here for you, but you gotta be willing to ask for it. You gotta be willing to go and seek that. You only know what you know. And if you could help yourself, you we would have already done it. So it's important to get the help that you need and only, you know, what that is, what that looks like. Talking with somebody else, I can help you out of that dark place. All right, I've been there. I've been there for a minute, right? So I know what it looks like. I know what it sounds like. That is all I have. I wanted to share that this morning um, because it's happening. It's real. And I'm complete. I pray I pray peace in your in your life. I pray peace in your mind. I pray that those spiritual attacks stop. I pray that you get the help the support, the support that you need because you're not you. And you know that. And you have not been you for a minute. It's time you go and get you. It's time you go and rescue you. Get the things that you need so you can be your best self. All right? That's all I have. Peace.